Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to clone hard drives using the Inatech cloning docking station. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description below, but let's get started. So what I'm actually doing is cloning this device here, this hard drive, hard drive disc, 3.5 inches, one terabyte, to this SSD 2.5 solid state drive. Okay, so this is going to be my main drive. I'm going to take all this information and put it all exactly onto here. This is my main drive and this is what Inatech calls a slave drive. For this process to work, your slave drive has to have an equal amount of storage or greater than your main drive. Because this is a terabyte and this is a terabyte, this is gonna be a perfect clone. Let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my main hard drive and put it into the A dock. And you can see here, there are the little incisions for the SATA input. So you just want to make sure those are correct. So it's going to go like that. Excuse me. Right, make sure it's sturdy, not too much. And then we're going to do the same with the slave drive and B. short side is on the right side. There it is. To turn it on, it has a button in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And you should start hearing some hard drives turning on. Once you have your drives nice and mounted. You're gonna go over here to where the LED indication progress lights are. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down this clone button for about three seconds and then the 100% is gonna blink and then you're gonna click it really quickly. So. And there you go. That means it's working. So if you notice, I was holding it for three seconds then that light turned uh, turned on, and then immediately I clicked it. And that shows that it is working. So once it gets to 100%, your drive has com completely uh, cloned, and it, everything that was on here, on your main drive, should now be on your slave drive, your new drive. So I, in this example, I'm using a traditional hard drive disk and I'm gonna put everything into this SSD and that should be a lot faster for this computer. So I've been waiting about a little over an hour and it's nearly done. I'm waiting for all four LEDs to stop blinking and stay on and that's how I know when it will be finished. And there it is. All lights are lit up. It should be ready to go. Everything that was on here will still be on here, but it is now on this uh, hard drive right here from A to B. Thanks again for watching and feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comment section below if you'd like to see anything else. Thank you. Bye-bye.